Here is the Toyota Corolla. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now let's go ahead and open up the driver's side door. Right over there is the primary hood release lever. Pull it. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of that Toyota emblem there, put one hand there, lift up the hood slightly, put another hand over there and push it up. Now this hood requires a prop rod to stay in place, so grab the rod, put it over there in that slot in the hood with the arrow marking it. Now pull it back slightly and now the hood is secure. Now what happens is when the engine is running, it just produces heat, right? It's burning fuel, so it gets hot. Now you want the engine to be warm, but you don't want it to overheat. Because if it overheats, then I mean, it just causes all sorts of problems, so you don't want any of that to happen. Now that's where the coolant comes in. Because what the coolant does is the coolant circulates within the engine, it collects all the heat, and now the hot coolant, it goes to the radiator, it cools off and comes back in, collects more heat, goes back to the radiator, cools off, comes back in, the cycle keeps on repeating again and again. However, in this whole system, what you need is an expansion tank because the coolant itself, as it, as it heats up, it's going to expand. And as the name suggests, you need an expansion tank where the extra coolant can sort of just go temporarily and then it can come back to the main coolant system. And that's what you need an expansion tank for. Now that right there is your radiator pressure cap. See, so one hose leads you to the main radiator hose over there. And there's a label right there on it. says so never open when hot. You don't have to open this anyways, but especially don't open it ever when it's hot because there's pressurized hot cooler underneath there that's just going to spray out and cause serious injuries or even death and you don't want that. Let's just follow this other hose. It leads us to the coolant expansion tank. That's the one right over there. Now to get an idea of the fluid level, look at it from the side. Now when you're doing so, just be sure that you don't get any fingers over there because there's an electric fan right there. I'm just going to get my hand in there for now for demonstration purposes. There are two markings, F and L, low and full. Fluid level should be between them. And always check when the car's been sitting for 2-3 hours because if you check it right after you drive the car, the coolant's going to heat up and expand and that's going to give you a false reading and you don't want that. If you have to top off coolant, get one of this 50-50 mix which is ready to use. You don't have to add any water, any diluted water, nothing. You can just use it the way it is. So Preston is a good brand. That's the cap, just flip it open, top off the coolant from right over there. And then when you're done, just put the cap back on, make sure it's sitting in properly, and then just press it down and that's it. To close the hood first, push it, take load off the prop rod, get the rod out of that slot, put it back in its place, lower the hood and slam it shut. Hope you found it useful.